All right guys, Captain Randall here, Land of Fishing TV. Today I'm gonna show you how to throw a large cast net, okay? This one is brand new, so they're a little tough to get open when they're brand new. If you got any tips on how to open them up and how to loosen them up, I've heard fabric softener in a five gallon bucket, different things, put it in the comments below. I really don't have a way of doing that. I've never done it yet. I usually deal with it and just use the net and as it works its way open, I throw it you know, 20, 30, 40 times, it starts loosening its way open and store it and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you the triple load method. The triple load method is the way that I learned how to throw a cast net uh, online and through people that I knew, a 12 foot cast net quickly and easily. Within 20, 30 casts, I kind of had it down. Once I learned how to load it in a couple specific pointers that I needed to know, which I'm gonna show you, it was pretty easy. So don't let a big cast net, a 10, 12 foot cast net intimidate you. Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Watch it over and over, go through the motions. Once you get the muscle memory of loading it up, it'll be easy from there on out. So hopefully this helps you and let's get started and see what we can do. All right, guys, one thing I recommend getting is a mini shrimp basket hamper. Okay, this is about half the size of a regular shrimp hamper and it is perfect for storing my cast net. I store mine in the back corner of my box uh, and it fits right in there. It keeps it, lets it dry out, stuff like that. And it's just a great way to keep it organized and pull it on and off the boat. The other thing you can use it for is picking through your bait. Now I use something different uh, and I'll show you that later on the video that I picked up and I'll show you where I picked them up. These you can get at your local tackle box or net store or anything like that that sells net material for commercial fishing or anything like that. Uh, so let's get started on how to throw the triple, triple load and I'll, I'll show you the steps and a couple little things that you need to learn. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna go with you is the lanyard, okay? You're gonna have a lanyard that looks just like this on your cast net, okay? If you're right-handed, you're gonna to wanna to do the exact same things as I do. If you're left-handed, you're gonna do the exact opposite of what I do. So if you're right-handed, your lanyard is gonna go on your left hand, okay? Then I'll tighten it down as tight as it'll go. I'll take my right hand and reach out as far as I can, bring it back to my left hand, put it in the palm of my hand, okay? And I'll continue to do that until I get put in front of each other, until I get to the bottom, which would be the top of it, okay? Be the top of my net. I'm gonna go all the way down, okay, and then I'm gonna hit the top of my net, okay? I'm gonna grab the top of my net and make sure it's slid all the way up to the top, okay? I'm gonna put my hand about six to eight inches below the top of my net, okay? From there, I am going to make sure that my net is stretched out, okay? And there's no twist like this, it's all twisted up. I'll make sure it's not twisted up, that everything's straight in line, that I'm seeing my mesh right down a straight line, okay? From there, I'm gonna slide my hand down six more inches. So now I got about a foot on the top, okay? Then I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna slide all the way down as far as I can go to about my waist, okay? And you'll see, I'm gonna go right to my waist with it, okay? That is literally right above hip high, okay? Then I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna switch that to my left hand, okay? So now, once, once again, I said this was a brand, brand new net, so it's real fluffy. I got my rope in my hand, and then I got my first grab right here, then I got my second grab on top of it, which is right above waist high, okay? So, this is the most tricky part, okay? If you have this like this, the most tricky part is gonna be next, okay? All right, guys. Now, from here, I'm gonna slide up and I'm gonna start pulling my net open, okay? And I'm gonna grab it in thirds, okay? It's gonna be three thirds, okay? That's what it's gonna, work out. Now, if your net is flipped, if your weights are flipped on the inside of one of your lines, okay, like such, you want to make sure that all those are cleared as you're opening it up. Okay, so I'm going to go up a little higher for y'all, and I'm going to grab in thirds. I'm going to make sure it's all clean, like such, and I'm going to keep grabbing with my fingers, like this, more line, then I'm going to grab more line, okay, I'm going to grab more. Okay, making sure that my weights are not flipped on the inside. Okay, so that's a third. I have a third of the net in my hand now. Okay, this is one of the tricky parts that if you get, makes life a lot easier and it'll make it really easy to throw this big net. I'm gonna take my left arm and I'll put it straight out. Okay, as y'all can see. I'm gonna take my right arm with that third and go underneath. Okay, I'm underneath. And then I'm gonna throw over the top of my shoulder. 
okay? That's gonna put that section there. Okay, now that I have that first third over my shoulder, I'm gonna come back on the inside, okay? All right, as you can see, there's an inside line and an outside line, okay? There's two lines on this, on this net, okay? There's the one that comes all the way to the outside and one that comes to the inside. From the inside, I'm gonna do the same thing into my hand. I'm gonna keep walking this net into my hand, making sure that it doesn't tangle up. Another third of it, okay? Just keep walking it off, walking it off, walking it off. Okay, now I have the second third, okay? That's my second third, and then my third third is gonna be hanging down at the bottom there, okay? So once I get it there into my hand, I'm gonna roll my hand back, and I'm gonna grab that bottom weight, okay? Trying to show y'all how it, okay? And I have it pinched with two fingers here, okay? That way it's gonna be pinched with these two fingers, okay? From there, I am ready to throw the net. I have all three sections ready to go. I have my first third on the back of my shoulder, I have my second third in my hand, and my third third is hanging down towards the bottom, okay? So what I'm gonna do is rotate my left shoulder to the back here, okay? And I'm gonna put some slow motion videos up of us throwing the net on the water so you can actually see it all in motion, okay? But when I go to go throw, I'm gonna throw it basically like a Frisbee, and when I come around, I'm gonna continue to hold this weight till this weight gets to my right side, right about here, and then I'm gonna let it go. So basically, if you let it go too early, the net will not open fully, okay? If you take your time and don't try and hum it and just get the momentum going, the net will throw and this weight will be the last weight to hit in front of you and the back of the net will be open, okay? So I'm gonna show you how I throw it. Like I said, this is a brand new net, so it's gonna be a little tight and then we're gonna get y'all some slow motion videos up and then I'm gonna show y'all one more thing after that. If this video helps you, please like and subscribe to our channel. The more you like our videos, the more videos I can make for you. All right guys, now that I got my net fully loaded, got my third in my front, my third in my side, and third over the back of my shoulder, I'm gonna show you how we throw the net, okay? So I'm gonna come from this position, I'm gonna keep my left shoulder to the back, and I'm gonna throw like a Frisbee. Some people s spin around, I'm not doing that, I'm gonna end up in the water. Uh, you know, you can comment below if it helps you or not, or if it's a size thing. Uh, it could be possibly a size thing where some people that are smaller need to spin to get the net momentum going. But I'm six foot tall and right at 200 pounds, and uh, I, I don't need a spin, and spinning is just gonna make me do a ballerina dance right into the water. So I'll stick with what I got and uh, do it this way. So. All right, guys, let me go over one more thing with y'all, okay? If I'm throwing on the flats, I throw two different nets that I keep in my boat, depending on the time of the year, really. But if I'm throwing on the flats, I'm gonna throw quarter inch mesh. The flats, I mean four foot or less of water, okay? If it's the winter time and bait is scarce, then I'm throwing a 3 8 net, a uh, 12 foot net with a little heavier weight on it, okay? That's so that it can get down deep and get down. I'm not throwing a 3 8 on the flats because you will get what they call a Christmas tree. I got one, okay, and, and I never did it again, um, where basically every bait's stuck by the gills all in your net, and you might as well call it a day with that net because that net's going to take you forever to get cleaned out. So quarter inch on the flats, 3 8 in the deep water. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. The more you like these videos, the more we can give away and the more we can make. I appreciate all the support, and thank you for watching this video on how to triple load a cast net. All right, guys, one more thing I want to go over with you that I use that makes my life a lot easier in the boat and keeps my boat a lot cleaner. Anytime your cast net comes in a boat with all that grass and all that stuff in it, you can use the shrimp hamper uh, like I showed you before, but it's not really my uh, go-to, okay? My go-to is going to be with this thing right here, okay? It's called the Instagrate, Instagrate, okay? I get these from Costco. It's a perfect box for picking through bait, okay? What I really like about it is that it folds right up to go into my compartments, okay? And pops right back down. 
easy to clean out with these side doors. Literally, when I'm done with it, I pull them up, I rinse it through the water, and then I fold it up and I put it up, okay? I get these at Costco, so if you have a different method, let us know. But this is what I found to be the absolute best thing called the Instacrate.